forecast showers and thunderstorms today with strong southwesterly winds to 37 miles per hour. It's a numbers game, especially for the situation that we're in. We're coming off of a high water event here. The outdoors is not a hobby. It's not our passion. It is our way of life. We make the perfect cast, slow our breathing to execute a perfect shot, spend hours researching locations and techniques. Regardless of effort, we fail. Nice knock. <laughs> this series is not about incredible bites or trophy animals. Our goal here at Day One Outdoors is to educate our viewers, utilizing new technology to offer a different perspective. Watch as we research new areas, plan out the day, and adjust to changing conditions. If not for other experienced outdoorsmen teaching me along the way, I wouldn't have this life. I owe it to them to pass this knowledge along. I owe it to you. Join us here on Day One Outdoors, and let's learn how to become more successful in the field and on the water from day one. this every time and we <laughs> never not one time have we ever brought enough Dude. gear get into fishing they say it'll be fun they say this is the fun part hey! Hey! when we first started fishing out here um, the fish were big I remember a lot of big summit lake fish but there wasn't very many you'd come out here you'd catch seven eight ten fish maybe twelve fish in a day uh, but you'd catch some pretty big fish. Fast forward about 10 years from there, we ended up having a fishery that was summit lakes, lots of them. You'd come out here, a lot of days you'd catch 30, 40, 50 fish. The fish weren't that big, but we caught a lot of fish. It was, it was a pretty fun fishery when nothing else was happening. They started figuring out this pilot peak strain of fish. And the last 10 years, Pyramid Lake has become one of the most amazing success stories along with amazing fisheries that I've ever seen. We thought it'd be a really good idea to take the shortest route here. It's not. Washboard roads are really difficult to drive, especially when you're towing a boat. Downriggers are back there bouncing all over the place. Pretty much rattled our bones and our brains <laughs> like teens into are the mush. <laughs> U.S. Fish and Wildlife, in conjunction with the tribe, are responsible for getting these fish, milking them, raising them, and planting them. After about a 10 hour drive from Washington for Hunter and Jared, and about a six hour drive for myself, we finally made it down here, going over some nasty roads. We finally got the entire crew here. We got Jared, Hunter, his son, whose 15th birthday it is today. Hunter, what's up, baby? And then Dennis Hispister, who's our buddy from Wild Fish, Wild Places. He knows this lake like the back of his hand, but Jared and I both think that they're fishing for these fish not quite as effectively as they could be. They're using some lures and techniques that we think are actually limiting their ability. So Jared and I are gonna use our own knowledge and our own techniques out here on this body of water to see if we can keep up with Dennis and his techniques and maybe even show him a few new things. Dude, are you fun. stoked? Oh yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fun. Today we have no option. We get here, the wind's blowing, the lake is absolutely blown up. We don't want to be unsafe, so we're just going to fish close to the dock because that's all we have to do. We should put a, a maglip out, a 3-0 maglip at like a frog because it's still kind of, the light's still down. Um, those will fish both about that 18-foot mark, and then we'll just come around that corner and just start looking for fish out in 20 to 50. Not going to rig them wacky? Oh, you could. You could, yeah. Might I'm do gonna... one wacky, one not, right? We got six rods, we can play with them. Uh, wacky being a, a weight? Don't you worry about that. Okay, I won't worry this about West it. Let's go stuff. This, you're way too far. Yeah. I didn't even understand that. Yeah, dude, you I, guys aren't wacky enough. Wacky, this close. I'll go ahead and start catching fish, and then <laughs> and then we'll do some other wacky stuff over here. So we're gonna run two downriggers, okay. two planter boards, and we'll figure out. Looks like another megalith. We're gonna short off that one. Forty. Twenty. No. Uh, Twenty already. Yep. Yeah. That thing's chewing up dirt right now. Yeah. Oh, Hunter, it's your Hunter. birthday! Get it's it! Birthday. Get it! Woo! Chartreuse, baby! Wacky rig. 
<laughs> wacky rig, chartreuse. <laughs> the wacky rig? Yeah. <laughs> so it's either a spin fish or a maglip. Wacky rig means it's a little wacky. So what we got is we got a maglip, which is a diver, and it's trailing a leader with a three inch spin fish on it. So kind of fun because the rod just folds. So we're going to see what he's got for his birthday fish. Yeah, it works. <laughs> First fish. West Coast. Wacky. We told Dennis he don't know nothing about West Coast. He's too far in, then we just proved our point. Oh, it's a kiwi. It's not even a trout. <laughs> Pin fish for the W. First Lahontan cool. cutthroat. Out here, the regulations are no bait, no scent. Spin fish work, even without anything in them. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. So right now, guess what? We're 15 minutes into the day. We've got our first fish on a spin fish and we're already re-rigging and changing colors on every rod. Because that's what we do on this show. It's gonna be a cluster. We're in a 20 foot boat with five people fishing six rods because there's two rod endorsements out here. It is... <laughs> circus. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bump us in. Yeah, there was nothing Fish. on the graph. We're definitely marking more up in the bay in that 40 foot line. Once we get down here in the right, there's some good structure along over here too. We'll just try to get in and, and run it. Get it close. That's a good one. Oh, wow. I like it. I would have thought it was. Together. That a baby? Yeah. Number First two. two fish. Popped right off in the net. I already went through the net. Dennis is Mr. Strikes again. What? Without any. I, I didn't what? even touch the net. The curse of Dennis. What? Dude, what happened? That's crazy. Well, I can tell you what happened. You know, I was putting my shirt on, and I was like, this hand hole's a little too small. Yeah, so well, the deal is from now on, we got to catch fish that are over 52 pounds so they don't go through the hole. Yeah. Yeah, baby. There you, there you go. go. Since we get oh, into 20, we get into we 20. Just gonna change. <laughs> Literally, I was grabbing this thing to reel it in and change it to a color that Dennis Isbister said. And I was like, no way, this one's gonna go off, and it did. <laughs> Eight years later. Eight years later. <laughs> oh, just swim out. There you go. <laughs> Swimming out of the net. Got our second fish of the day. Little maglip, three five. Uh, third fish. Third fish of the day. Third fish. Yeah. Third fish <laughs> of the day. <laughs> The wind's still blowing. Howling. It's actually picking up, it seems like. <laughs> White caps across the lake. Fish on! Let him swim! Fish on! Just let him swim, Jared! Let him swim, D! Little fella. No. Okay, that's Wacky Rig. So this is a Summit Lake strain. There's two different strains of Lahontan Cutthroat in this lake. There's a Summit Lake strain, which is the traditional older strain that we had for years, and then the Pilot Peak strain, which is the actual closer to the original strain of fish that was in here. And the pilots were the ones like Hunter caught. They're bright silver, really pretty fish. And these summits, you can tell, see how red they are. They're bright red, red big cheeks. red cheeks. So you can see the colors, how beautiful the cheeks are on there. Just that red beautiful right there. red, yeah. The whole body's got that red to it. Kind of some chocolates on the bottom. Well, that's... Is the spot pattern different? Between you know, the two fish, it, it the changes two a little, yeah, but it's not indicative of the actual different species. Yeah, don't set it. Yes. Woo! Woo! There we Maybe go. We'll drag across this point. So a we're just times. talking to Dennis about not catching any fish. So when we reel this one in, we're gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> You know how everybody says you don't leave fish to find fish? <laughs> we just we just when you know you're fish in five minutes. When you know your water and you know where the big fish are, sometimes you leave little fish to go catch big fish, right? Is that cool? Fishfield is your one-stop shop online for the gear you need here in the Pacific Northwest and beyond. From salmon and steelhead, saltwater, trout and kokanee, even crabbing. Visit fishfield.com today to place an order with no sales tax and have the gear you need shipped fast. Fishfield.com, 
We have what the Northwest Outdoorsman needs. Every once in a while, a new lure comes along that catches every angler's attention. It could be because of all the irresistible colors and finishes, or the patented skip beat action, or maybe it's the wide variety of sizes designed for salmon, trout, walleye, steelhead, mackinac, and more. But just for the record, we know one thing for certain. We didn't design the maglip to catch fishermen. Yakima Bait Company. Originally, the fish that were in here got to be astronomical size. I mean, the world record cutthroat is out of Pyramid Lake. 30, 40, 50, 60 pounders they had heard of. And that strain went extinct. So then, fast forward, they start planting the Summit Lake strains in here. About 15 years ago, they found a strain of, of Pilot Peak trout, or of, of Lahontan cutthroats by Pilot Peak. Pilot Peak is out on the border of Utah and Nevada. They found these fish, they thought they were really close to the original strain that was in here. They cross-checked those pilot peaks with the DNA from the museum, a mount from the museum, realized, hey, we're onto something here. They started planting those, and all of a sudden, we've got this amazing fishery. Right we're marking fish at 10 feet. We're all watching those inside boards. The outside board's gonna get hammered. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't grab the rod, huh? I should no, you're good. Right. No, it's cool. We want you to share our fishery with us with you doing it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've had four bites now, all on the inside gear, hanging into 18 feet of water. That was the big N2. That N2 will dive 16, 18 feet down, so it was pretty close to the deck. We're starting to get there. Have we been fishing 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we're a little, it's a little slow, but. So you see this one's a lot more silvered up. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of showing you fish. <laughs> yeah, Just let you guys pick a few colors. I'd be running chartreuse just about everything if it was me. Oh, that's a, that's that's a, good, a good one. one. That's that a good looks one. like a good fish. Buddy. That's some good head shakes there. Yeah. Clear that one. That one's got some weight to it. Good job, Hunter. That's that uh, chartreuse Dalmatian, dude. You're just saying chartreuse, brother. Yeah, chartreuse everything, and guess what? Okay, I walk backwards. Well, that turned into a quadruple hookup for a minute. <laughs> straight up crazy. Got a quad going. <laughs> Sand dumpster quad. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. <laughs> Got a quad going. You guys are double up here. Let me get some pliers for you. All right, honey, you ready? <laughs> yeah, buddy. So we're just adjusting our presentation, man. This is the fun part about this is, you know, Dennis has done this for years and he's good at it. And so we get an opportunity to come out here and just test some stuff, have some fun. Spin fish. Spin fish. Spin Magnet. fish. Magnet. Party time. <laughs> Excellent. Party time. You want to need the pliers on this fish here with Dennis? So that was fun. We had like three rods go off. Boom. We've caught fish on a 3-0 maglip, 3-5, 4-0, a spin fish 4-0, and a spin fish 3-0. <laughs> um, you know, we've had, I think we had a quad hookup last Hold time, up, a double quick. here, another one missed. Yeah. Kind of getting this thing dialed in. I'm thinking that Isbister knows what he's talking about. There you Ooh. go. Do you yeah, start your show? Good. Yeah, this is what we're out here for. They're getting bigger as we go, right? But we're establishing this pattern. Chartreuse has been a ticket we thought, but we just put out two white plugs. This one got crushed, another one got bit, and then we caught this fish. So, uh, pattern's kind of changed a little bit throughout the day, but not much. And we're on him. I think Dennis is feeling much better about himself. I know I'm feeling better about Dennis. <laughs> When we get bit, we're getting bit a lot. A lot of rods go off at once, so they are schooled up. Trolling faster seems to help. That last group was on the outside, the first group was inside. Oh, is that a fish? Dude! Ah! Oh, he's got him. Let's change this out. <laughs> Let's get rid of the spin Dennis fish. Dennis was talking a lot of trash about the spin fish. <laughs> I don't know if those things are gonna work out here, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't spin know if this will work. These fish out here don't like to see things spinning. <laughs> they like them wiggling with the spin. And... Double, 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 double. Oh, no, no, no. Get it, Hunter! Right here, Get right it, Hunter! Look at this one's good. <laughs> Get it, Hunter! Set it! Don't set Give it! Give it the toe set! Don't listen to him. <laughs> Give him the... It's off. Right. Too bad you can't use bait out here because that's bait, dude. <laughs> it's, oh my it's god! <laughs> Oh, 
Was it? Uh, I'm not sure. What's that, that right there? Matter. That's 30 right there. Dennis thinks he has a big one on, so that means it's probably going to be about a two pounder. What a mess. This guy's everywhere. Lost the board. Fish everywhere. Not a bad one. I thought it was going to be a little bigger, staying deep, but. Must have ruined it in, man. The next thing I do, bing, bang, boom. <laughs> so, this is a pilot. You can see how bright silver it is. It almost looks like a steelhead. They've actually got a bigger head and a bigger jaw on the Pilot Peak strain of fish. Uh, they're bright silver. They fight a lot harder. They're growing about a half an inch a month on average. Um, they don't mind the, the warm water as much as the summits. And they're just a much more voracious predator. All right, so here's what we learned on that first pass. The inside rods got bit okay. They didn't hang up that well, but definitely the spin fish on the downrigger and that outside rod, the glow deal pickle, got ravaged. We did really good on that. M2 got one or two bites, but you want to keep it out there because that's your big fish lure. And we were in 18, 20 feet of water, and we were trolling a two to two and a half. We started in 20, but we've spent a lot of time in 16. We did. 15 getting pushed in, so maybe try to concentrate on 25. 20 to 25, yeah, yeah right in there. What's really cool about a fishery like this is that when you go and you talk about our steelhead and salmon fisheries back home, getting two or three bites is a really good day. It's really hard to figure out a pattern. Yeah. Here when you're getting, that pass we hooked what, 20 fish that pass, yeah. maybe more? Maybe more. Probably more. Probably more, yeah. <laughs> but when you do that, when you have that much action, you can really dial in your gear and see which plugs are swimmers, what depth they're in, what speed they want, everything. Everything, like one pass like that. Yeah, one pass. You dial in every little single detail, and then you can kind of start varying a little bit from there. I, the other thing I like about staying with that profile is that one and that one are proven giant killers. So I hate- Those are your swimmers. I, yeah. I hate right. taking them off, you know? <laughs> And if we got 17 rods out. <laughs> hey, backside. You just put in that rod holder there and just lower it down a notch. Definitely got our pattern established, you yeah, know. Uh, we're putting yeah. lines out, we got our depth dialed in, and I don't think we had all the lines completely set, and uh, this line went off, you know. It feels like our standard fish movement's yeah. catching like three to five pounds, but we'll take those. Those are great. Yeah, that white. Yeah, I'm telling you, white cracker whacker. Is that what it is, white with pink? It's a fatty. Salmon swim up to 3,000 miles to return to their exact place of birth to reproduce. Well, most of the time. Twenty-one feet. Fish time with Dennis Spister coming at you live. live. One thirty, Pyramid Lake. Ah. Yeah, buddy. Hunter's on. Birthday boy. How's that feel? Feels a little better. A little better? All right. That deep Go. rod again. Spin fish. Party time. Excellent. Just know you're going to catch just, fish. This is just fun. Yeah, just know you're going to catch fish. You know you're just having fun. But you kept on promising me a 10 plus pounder. And it's crazy. It's I like, mean, if you add them all up, uh, I'm surprised we haven't stuck a really good fish yet. Like, we haven't we haven't even broke like the seven pound mark, I don't think. No. Yet. Uh -huh. It's like a day of dinks and on stop, but whatever. Just keep pounding away.
That's that might be a better fish, boys. And that thing is loaded. Still got him? Oh yeah, well, dude, dude, it's peeling line. Yeah, yeah, it's peeling yeah. line? Yeah, it's yeah, peeling line. All right, I'll slow down a little bit. Dads. So one of the most common things you get asked when you're fishing other than what you're using is, hey, what kind of rod did you have? What kind of reel did you use? What, what, what line were you using? So real quick, this has been pretty simple for us today. You know, we're fishing uh, actually three different presentations. We're running a planer board, we're running a downrigger, and we're running a flat line out the back. Now, the rod we're using to do that is all the same rod. It's an eight foot, one piece, basically a steelhead action rod for plugging. These come with the line counter reels. What you want on these, you know, this happen to be a Diablo Alexa line counter. Any line counter net two to 300 series is absolutely perfect. It's coupled up with some Maxima 40 pound braided line, okay? And we're bringing that down to our swivel to a 15 pound Maxima Ultra Green leader. And we've been running 15 pound on this all day. The water's fairly clear. We debated last night whether fluorocarbon or mono decided to go with just the standard 15 pound Maxima Ultra Green. And it's worked good for every presentation. What's really crazy about this lake is the fact that it's windy in the morning, calm in the afternoon. Yeah. It's complete opposite of everything that we're used to. And I think it's because what you said, the geothermal lake, so the water's actually warmer than it is outside, so everything's flipped. It's usually in the afternoon, the ground gets heated up, air rises, wind picks up, gets funneled through. It's the opposite out here. We just moved to our new spot and uh, literally deployed the rod. And as soon as I deployed the rod, boom, it got bit. And the fish is like running at me right now. It's crazy, just nonstop, just one after another. I didn't even get this thing out. I've been fishing Pyramid Lake basically as long as I can remember. Been, uh, I'm 44 now, and I remember coming out here six, seven, eight years old, and my uncle, my grandpa introduced me to this lake. You know, getting over to Hell's Kitchen, it's not getting, running it's not the old homemade downriggers. Yeah. Come on, be bigger. It's not, it's not. 21 feet. Fun with it. It's nice, like you said, it's nice having guys that know what they're doing. It's just like clockwork, right? Yeah. Just like grabbing rods, sending them out, down there, boom, 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 boom. We got a good spread. We got a good rhythm. Everything's fishing perfect. Market fish. Sometimes, though, when that wind dies down, the bite turns off, and vice versa. I don't know. Now I'm just being a fishing guide, making yeah. stuff up. But get it, son. Hit it. Spin fish bite. We're just waiting for that big one. It's almost sad that we've caught so many fish that we don't get excited anymore when the rod goes down until we're like, oh, oh, oh. It might be four pounds. Yeah, maybe. It might be a four. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Oh, no, it got smaller. Maglip. Yeah, what a fat fish. Maglip. Bring it right pilot. over there. Come over here. That hook came out right there, too. You hang on that for me. And Hunter, I'll get the board for you. <laughs> what? It's a big one! It's a big one! Thank God it's a big it's one! It's one and a half pounds, it's maybe. A, yeah, it's a two-pounder. Day of the small fish. Oh, man. That outside board's not getting chewed at all. It's fat. Oh. That sun's getting really close to dipping in behind the mountain, and we've landed an insane amount of fish today. This is such a cool fishery to experience, but it's also known for big fish, which is what we're out here to target. We're getting plenty of fish to the boat. We get excited every time a planer board starts skiing or a clip comes undone. But so far, we haven't got any 10 pounders. I think we got enough daylight for maybe one more lap back across these points. We marked a lot of big marks. It's just not chewing, and the ones that are aren't the ones we're looking for. But again, you cannot complain. We are catching a lot of fish. We're catching on spin fish, on maglip, 3.0, all the way up to 5.0s. Trolling fast, aggressive fish fat fish, really cool all the spots on them and the two different strains out here. Dang it, I want a big one. Can I complain? You want to complain? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The last, yeah, last eight trips I've been out here, I've had 17s, 19s, 15s, 14 and a half was the smallest. And today, <laughs> when my buddies are here to film, pull them in, we're turning around. <laughs> oh, outside. Gone. Got still? They can keep him off. No, oh, he's still there. There's a head shake. There's a head shake. <laughs> keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Take it. You're in a better spot. Here. Minus eight. Shrimp fish. 
and a half. <laughs> Another two pounder. Woo! Oh, it came off. Came off. That was a 20 pounder for sure. That's what Dennis says. Oh God, oh God. You're dragging behind you? No, they're not. You got a fish, dude. That's a big fish. Maybe he's gaining a lot of line, dude. It's gonna be another small one on that. We gotta plug that big, and it's gonna be a fish that big. Let <laughs> I me mean, look at this one. Jared's got. It. I got the pull here for you, bud. Isn't it beautiful. Yeah, just hold it up. Ah, look at the colors on that. They're so cool looking. We're doing this all day. This is like 70 fish we've done this way. Just pulling plugs. If you don't like a plug pick gun, there's something wrong with you, especially when this is on the other end of it. Yeah, it's pretty bad when you're complaining about trout that weigh three to four pounds on average. Time for this beautiful baby to go back. Hot by bro, hot by bro. Another birdie one. Bye bye. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Got a baby. Hot bite, bro. This is fun. <laughs> Come on down to Pyramid Lake. Catch yourself 400, three to seven pound fish. Look at that little ski. Last fish of the day, right here. This beautiful fish and all of his buddies have gave us one heck of a good time out here on Pyramid Lake today for my son's birthday. So as a uh, benefit to them, we say thank you and we released every one of them, didn't we son? Yep. So that's a pretty good day to spend with your son on your birthday, catching fish like these all day. Beautiful place, no one around. Some of your best buddies on earth, man. We're fortunate people. We're gonna let you go home with your best buddies on earth there, Mr. Fish. Bye-bye.